Yeah. It seems like something would work. No, yeah, we've, we've done a lot of darn package through the years. We've had it every year. Just, just tweaks and versions of it. But, uh, yeah, that part was good today. It's good. Good. Um, secondary, just the way those guys played, it seemed like they had uh, almost an extra layer of toughness and aggressiveness. That, I mean, is, is that what you expect to see from this group? Yeah, it's an, an experienced group that um, a year ago, I think three of the first four, uh, if you count Isaiah, four of the top five guys were starting their first college game. And um, uh, on the road in particular, but um, it's, a, it's a seasoned group. It's a group that's, you know, got you know, talent and length and pride, you know, as much as anything too, and just didn't like the rhetoric, you know, all off season. And, and uh, cause they played, they played really well for a good part of that game. And we, uh, they got rolling and we didn't play a few series back to back to back very well, but a year ago. And so, uh, you know, again, you know, I think uh, they're men, they're grown men that worked their butts off and took a lot of pride and, and it took a lot of the things that were being talked about to heart. So. Sure. Coach, your defense had a great game, three points until the last 10 seconds, but they really gave their all on that, that last uh, fourth down play to, on the touchdown. Is that one you just have to tip your cat, had to? Yeah, we had, that might have been our first real bust, like uh, where we had a missed, a real missed assignment the whole night, and because uh, we were supposed to have somebody on that guy, but yeah, so uh, proud of our guys. They, they, they really had a great performance and um, just played with a great focus and passion. And, just a sense of desperation, but physical at all three levels. D line just stoned them, and uh, and uh, for the most part, we really tackled well, and and um, uh, we hit the quarterback a lot tonight. No, we affected him, and uh, just real proud of that leadership. You know, it's a group. We're still young. Again, we got a bunch of newbies too. You know, and uh, you know, growing up. You know, every day. You end up with those anytime you can play in a game and gain experience. Uh, whether you have some failure or you have success, all of it's part of that growth. And um, uh, again, it's a long season, and you know we're going to have to have a whole other mentality going on the road. It's a different deal. And um, going to Syracuse, um, they had a tough loss today. They'll be ready. If there's something, if I know Dino Babers and that program, if there's something, they're tough. And uh, they're really good in a lot of areas. But it's one thing that they, they bring to the table is toughness. And uh, I have no doubt that they'll uh, they'll respond and um, you know uh, be ready to play. You guys talk about a one game season a lot, but it seemed like this group took last year's performance personally. How how easy was it for them to get them up for this game? Yeah, I mean again, you know, we we had our own again we again a year ago we didn't play great, you know, in, the, in about that last quarter and a half and um, probably you know should have slammed the door by halftime to be honest with you we missed some opportunities to do that as a football team a year ago and anytime you let a good team kind of hang around we did it a little bit tonight uh, but anytime you let a good team hang around and they got good players they can get into a rhythm and get you on your heels and so uh, that group a year ago came back and despite the performance became the number one scoring defense in college football and um, and so I say that only that there's a lot of, I mean, we, there's some guys that are not only good players on our defense, but there's guys that, you know, they know how to win, they know how to perform at a high level, and they, again, have a tremendous amount of pride, too. And again, the ownership, too, you know, owned. It's not like that we live in la-la land and act like, what are you talking about? And it never happened. And fake news. No, that happened. It did happen. And uh, we wanted to, again, leave no doubt. And uh, whether or not we did, that's for everybody else. But for us, you know, um, we, again, had a heck of a performance. I'm really proud of the work that they put in. And uh, it was fun to watch. You know, our guys played with great confidence tonight. Uh, we're very precise uh, for the most part and, um, and handled. Again, there's some in-game adjustments. You know, they had a whole lot of season two to, uh, to come up with, with, you know, some things that, that you know, haven't been on tape. And, and our guys adjusted to them well. And uh, really, again, it all starts up front. And I thought those guys just had a, uh, did a tremendous job. For a little bit, it seemed like the Muse INT was going to be the exclamation point, but let them back in there with another possession. It seemed like the only thing that was missing was another exclamation point. Yeah, but again, I, you know, we, again, really just again proud of our guys. And, and uh, if you'd asked me beforehand that we play like that, are we going to have a chance to, 
you know, win the game, and, and I obviously, you know, I, I'd sign up for that. And um, again, just just how hard they played, how hard they competed, back to back weeks, of fourth down stops, and uh, some critical turnovers down in the red zone, and um, just how they, they fly around. You know, we're, we're certainly not a polished product. We got a long way to go before we were, uh, you know, real good defense by, by you know any stretch. But uh, we got the makings because we got leadership. We got toughness. We got guys that are passionate. We've got some skilled guys. We've got some young guys that need to grow up. And uh, but just been pleased with the growth that we've seen through through fall camp and to where we are through you know, two games. So some of the most creativity that you've thrown out there, scheme wise. I guess a, a normal offense. Not like nah, we, we play dime defense. We've had dime every year I've been here. I mean, it's been a staple of what we do. And uh, so just again some few different looks and. Just some good disguise. Uh, so, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry to be to cut you off. Actually, how impressive is it what Tyler Davis is doing out there? It's very impressive. Uh, and there's again, there was no doubt, you know, when, when he was declared the starter because he was by by far the the, the best guy. And uh, over a long period of time in fall camp, and he had the spring, you know, as well. And those other guys were out. And uh, but. You know, that's as we all know, that's a, that's a rare deal. I think Justin Ross is freakish as he is. He didn't start a game until this year. You know, it's hard. You know, as a true freshman, and um, especially at that position. And um, uh, that's just that's not normal. You know, Christian played starter snaps as a freshman, but you know wasn't the starter. Dexter took him two games. Uh, and I'm not saying he's Dexter, but I'm just as we know, I'm just validating or reinforcing what you're saying. It's a big deal, and uh, you know he's got great maturity to him, uh, a focus um, to him that's just different. Uh, very mature beyond his years. He's physically mature. Um, his, his coaches in high school and his family have done a great job just raising a really grounded, uh, hungry, tough, um, accountable uh, young man, and and uh, he's just getting started, you know. And then the other part of that, uh, you know, the other part of that is. You know, he doesn't get satisfied. You know, and that's what a, young, a lot of young people they want to be satisfied. They want to be like oh, that's good enough, and and that's the challenge to a lot of our young guys on defense. Man, it's like the grind is real, and it only gets harder. You know, because it's a long season. So the ability to sustain the preparations, sustain the right mindset, sustain the work that you put in, the extra that you put in is hard. That's why teams at the end of the year start just dropping off like flies. They can't do it. It's hard. It's really, really hard to stay, just keep climbing, keep getting better. And one of those things is how you handle success. You know, the ability to handle success is a lot harder than, than handling adversity. And um, and so he's a guy that doesn't get satisfied easily. He wants more, expects more. And uh, so it's easy to keep him grounded and have some humility to him. Nolan Turner had, had the missed tackle on the third and long, but really yeah. bounced back with a forced fumble and a couple of really nice pass breakups. Yeah, Nolan's really come on, you know, uh, midway through last year. And, uh, and again, in a lot of space, that's not an easy play. And uh, But for him to bounce back, that doesn't surprise me. He's a very tough uh, young man, and uh, he's got a lot of confidence. He's skilled. And uh, so um, it's a, it was a great example, you know, how you handle it. You just put that behind you, move on, learn from it. And uh, within the game, that's not an easy thing to do, but a uh, tremendous job by Nolan. Had some terrific plays and coverage uh, as well. It seemed really like they were trying to um, really test DK early. Um, mm -hmm. How'd you feel he performed? Yeah, the um, good. Uh, yeah, he did great. You know, DK's still learning how to play the position, but again, he's got a lot of things that are going for him in his length and his ball skills and his toughness. Very competitive. Nothing is too difficult for him. Uh, he lets you coach him hard. Uh, he's a lot of fun to coach, and uh, but that's what I would do too. I've seen eight. I've seen eight on tape a lot, and um, and that's. Uh, you know, compliment to AJ, you know, for, you know, the quality of play that, that he's put on tape. But um, that's what I mean, we told DK, Coach Sweeney tells him daily, hey, they know what eight can do. They're coming after you. And, uh, but, yeah, some really good plays that uh, that he made as well. And then he made some mistakes here tonight. Uh, but um, uh, he did a great job. You're not Brent. completely grown up yet, but did they jump a grade today or grow up? Uh, I think it's all, all part of it, you know. And, you know, handling the success would be a big deal. And 
going on the road is a whole nother again mentality and a new test for them. But yeah, I mean, you know, they passed. They got passing grades. Uh, just a really, really good performance. And, um, and they've worked hard. We've been so hard on these guys. Uh, have not let them breathe one ounce. And the coaches have really worked hard at developing the fundamentals and foundation. You know, these schemes are no good if your fundamentals and techniques stink and uh, your understanding and eye discipline and all those things that go with it. And you've got to be able to play under stress with those fundamentals. And um, so we're, we're better, we're not a polished product. We'll go out there and we'll want to throw up at times watching tape, I'm sure it's always been the case. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, some, I've seen some growth and part of that growth too is just confidence. I can do it. This isn't that hard. If I just go stance alignment, assignment key, Stands alignment, assignment, key, and I just have the the focus and the discipline to do that play after play. Man, all the plays come to me. I don't have to try to make plays. And um, so anyway, uh, it was good. Brett, you've done, you've done this at least twice, defending a national.